Hi guys, as I was doing some research about getting a frequency generator, I did remember about this thing I had in uh, my garage for years. It is my first ever purchase on uh, eBay Germany when the euro currency did appear. If I remember correctly, it was uh, 5 euros maybe, plus shipping or something like this, maybe even 1 euro. So it is, it must be, I believe it is a frequency generator, but I do not know at all its condition after uh, these years of, of storage. I can see there is uh, oxidation on the handles here. And if it is not working anyway, or not, uh, I cannot use it. I believe I will uh, take it apart because it is uh, too bulky and uh, takes too much space and it is very easy. So if I remember correctly, it is uh, G475 or 74, maybe frequency generator. Uh, on the 70s probably. Late 60s maybe. So, there it is, yes. It is written in German, so it is a good uh, thing, at least. It is a uh, Arch Frequency Signal Generator G474, made in 1974. Serial number 32,124. So there is a big uh, dial here with precision dial. This must be the frequency ranges, but we don't, don't tell in, if it is in kilohertz, megahertz or anything. So not really helpful at this. If it can generate a sinus wave at uh, audio frequencies, for me it is enough for my needs in fact, for now. So, main the switch here. Bottom here, I have no clue what, what it does. This must be the upper level. Up to 300 millivolts, upper level. Not much, but uh, must be uh, enough. This I do not know. Ah, excuse me, it is written here, megahertz. So I can start at uh, 0 0.1 megahertz. So 100 kilohertz, it seems. This I do not know. So I will remove the wrapping first. That side we have nothing, you just have a fuse on the main uh, wire input. Here is the main wire for it. Regular uh, plug on the military kind grade connector. So first of all I will test for uh, 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 earth liquid before connecting to, uh, to the mains with a multimeter, at least seems if there is nothing obviously bad. And uh, so we'll think a little uh, with it and we'll keep you uh, updated about it. Thanks for watching. Look at this guys. It looks like this 40 years old device is working. Almost. I can get a waveform out of it. And it seems to be uh, calibrated well it is not too bad because I am spot on uh, 100 uh, kilohertz here and I count exactly five digits on my scope at uh, two microseconds per uh, per square here so it seems to be okay quite incredible in fact 
there is a dial indicator here, a needle galvanometer, I do not know exactly what it does. By the way, I have to use a maximum output level because the wave the waveform is very, very, very tiny on this thing. Here is the so there are some uh, issues with the buttons. I need to clean the contacts, I guess. But it should be okay after cleaning the contacts. As you can see, it is pretty random, but a little bit of contact cleaner should be good for it. There is the other mods here. I do not know exactly what they do. Maybe. Everything does not work correctly, but at least I can get a sine wave. It is uh, sad uh, the frequencies are so high. I would prefer a little bit lower frequencies for testing uh, audio amplifiers, for example. So I do not know yet what I will do with it. It is working, but it is not useful for me. And it takes a low cost of space. So anyway, I will, uh, in the next video, I will show you the insides. I will open it and uh, to clean the contacts at least. And uh, I will show you the contents. There is mostly a big shielded unit in, uh, in uh, cast iron. So it is why the, it is so damn heavy. One uh, issue with it is the uh, output connector. It is a special grade, uh, military grade, uh, Soviet kind of uh, output connector. You find them on uh, ships on the submarines, for example. But for me, it is not convenient at all. So at least I have a few of them. So maybe if I want to use it, I can tinker uh, something and connect a regular BNC at the other side because this is a cable that came with it here. There is a plug at the other side that looks like a BNC but it is not compatible with BNC at a few uh, parts of millimeters. Really, really close match but it does not fit. Well, so as you can see, if I if I move the dials, this one, this one, I can get pretty high frequencies. So you will notice, further I go high in frequencies, smaller the waveform is. In uh, amplitude, I have really issues with the buttons. So it is a vacuum tube uh, thing. So, thing so. I'm sure, in which condition I have a vacuum tube too. This one does not work. And this one is quite random. Okay, so at least. It seems to be almost uh, working. It is not completely dead. Quite incredible. There is no leak to ground as I was uh, scared of. So no problem. It is remaining completely gold. And uh, well. Okay. So in the next video we will have a look inside. Thanks for watching.